Hey, it's the Today Show with Jason Letterman. I not do it's just Jason. Oh, look, nice water. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. With me today is Gottfried Leibniz, and uh, please welcome our next guest, the man with the apple, Isaac Newton. So, uh, tell me guys, what's up with this, uh, math thing? Are you referring to calculus? No, he means fluxions. Yeah, that one. The second one. Well, uh, basically, uh, one use of calculus is, uh, limits, which is, uh, finding a point that, uh, by approaching it from both sides. You mean finding the slope at a point? No, that's using limits for differentiation. But there's also integration, which is the antiderivative. There's an easier way of uh, differentiation as well, through using the product rule and the quotient rule and the, and the chain rule altogether. And I, I think you forgot when you integrate, you forgot to put the C at the end. Well, well you forgot to, to find the area between two curves. And, and if you want to find the volume, you forget the pi and the squared. Well, if you guys are just going to sit there, I mean, I'm going to go surf. Happy Grandpa's History! Good evening, princess! Isaac Newton, begin! I'm the inventor of calculus, there, there is, is no question. question I should also take. A second to mention, I developed the mathematics of slopes, slopes and curves. curves. You claim you did the same scenes. I was overheard. It's so, so absurd. absurd. The description of my method was published in 1684 before yours was public. You claim you invented fluxion, seemed the apple for too hard. Newton, and gave you a concussion. You said you invented calculus. You're lying. Just invent notation, but he is based, based on, on mine. If you don't believe me, well, that's, that's fine, fine. But I'm about to prove to you that I'm the, the inventor. inventor. The creator. I'm an innovator. innovator. You're a weak debater. You got your ideas, but first you had to read this paper. So let me ask you this, how the hell do you invent calculus? calculus? You doubt me in calculus? Let me prove my ability. So let me start off with differentiability. It's a rate of change that's instantaneous. You, you may, may just be a bit more famous, but my flow is so continuous. Like the function, I have confirmed facts. You're just making assumptions. So go ahead, take a stab at me, but you're about to go down like, like gravity. gravity. The name's Isaac Newton, maybe you heard of me. You can't verbally murder me. Cause if f of a equals f of b, and f of b equals zero, then there must be a value for c, for which f prime c is also zero. A rule defined by rules theorem and the MVT. And in this math game, I'm the MVP. When it comes to calculus, you envy me. Cause I've made a mark in history. The name's Newton, and this is his story. Who won? Miss Dragon, you decide. Huh. Huh. Happy Grandpa's Mystery!